the BT Dance educational videos. Today what we're going to be talking about is movement analysis. Let's have a look at the different movements in the human body. The first thing we've got is flexion and extension. Flexion is where a joint angle decreases in size during movement. Flexion at the knee will therefore be in this motion. The opposite will be extension. Flexion at the elbow. Extension at the elbow. Now if you look at the sh shoulder joint, it's a ball and socket. The area space in the shoulder joint actually decreases as the arm raises. So this is what we'll call flexion at the shoulder joint. And therefore this is extension. Now extension just doesn't simply stop here. Extension continuously moves in the opposite movement as well. Therefore flexion at the hip will look like this. Extension of the hip will look like this. And extension of the hip will look like that. We now have horizontal flexion and extension. Horizontal flexion will look like this. And horizontal extension will look like that. We now have abduction and adduction. Abduction is very easy to remember because it's just similar to something being abducted away. When something's being abducted, it's being taken away. So abduction is where your arms are being taken away from your body. Adduction is the complete opposite. Adduction is where something is added to something. So added to the human body in this case. So when this is abduction, a B being abducted away, this is adduction being added to the body. Other examples would be abduction and adduction. To not get them confused, we simply say it in a different way. We simply say a B-duction to know that it's abduction and a deduction such as adduction. Other movements include a pronated hand, which is where the palm's facing down, or anything of the body facing down. So if you lay down flat on your tummy, that will be a pronated position. The other way around is called supinated. So when we supinate your hand, it simply means as if you're holding a bowl of soup. That means your palm's facing up. Or Plantar flexion, dorsiflexion. Now that you're nice and close and you can see my unshaven beard early in the morning, um, what we're going to be talking about today is uh, pronation and retraction. So a pronated shoulder is where the shoulder tends to lean a little bit forward. That means that your shoulder is protracted and you have a protracted shoulder. A retracted shoulder is now when you're moving backwards, or retraction is where it is actually retracted. So protraction, retraction, protracted shoulder, retracted shoulder. 
Now you always see a lot of guys sometimes walk in the gym like this with a, with a chest held up nice and high. Hey, sometimes they don't really mean it. Sometimes the pec, the, not pectoralis, the trapezius muscles in the back are so tight, it actually draws the shoulders back. So maybe one part of the body is just far much more stiffer than the other. Or sometimes they just like to show off their big chest. But in this case, what I want to talk about is what type of exercises can we do to change the way you look? So if you're hunched over on the computer all the time, it simply means that your muscles in the back have had a time to lengthen and they've lost their strength. So if you're standing like this the whole time, it's very important to do exercises such as the seated row where you squeeze your shoulder together and then pull back. But targeting the trapezius muscle in the back, those muscles are now going to tighten up and it's going to draw your shoulders from a protracted position to a retracted position. And you're going to get your posture back. Then again, if you're the complete opposite and you naturally sit with your shoulders back, you need to increase the tightness and the strength of your pecs. By tightening the strength and the tightness of your pecs, it will draw your shoulder back forward and you're going to rebalance your body back out.